It was happening. I'm Van and we are all the LFI family. And if you're not already with the LFI family, I'm going to need for you to hit that subscribe button right there, Jack. Hit that thing. Yeah, it's late night. I'm about to check out some Bill Burr. And the title of this is I'm Sick of Michelle Obama, the Black Queen, the Queen of the Blacks. So I had to go and put on my tank top, my wife beater, so I can check this one out. So y'all going to relax and let's do this. But first... All right, we are back. So my brother is about to talk about how he's sick of the queen of the blacks. <laughs> this white man is about to talk about how he's sick of the queen. So I'm about to check this out. Let me see if I laugh. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Let's go, Bill Burr. Be careful, bruh. Be careful, bruh. All right, how are you? How's it going? I'm good. Thank you for coming out of this wonderful A-leg. I just got back from Southeast Asia doing some stand-up over there. Really cool people. Yeah. It's wonderful people. Unbelievable level of poverty and stuff. I almost fall off the stage. Uh, makes it hard to complain though, you know, you see that level of poverty, come back, your throat's all itching and stuff, probably got Ebola, you know, <laughs> it would be a good thing to bring that here, you know, just to kind of thin out the traffic a little bit, right, <laughs> why don't they ever just let it burn through one time, why do we always gotta like jump on it? You ever had one of those selfish thoughts? Like, what if it was a bunch of people who died? Nobody you knew or loved, right? And then the next day, you just get to tear right through the Lincoln Tunnel at about five in the evening, right? The only thing you'd have to suppress is the guilt of not missing those people you didn't know, right? Hold on, Bill. You can't make me laugh, bro. I'm trying to be serious because I see the title of this right here, and I'm trying to make sure I'm ready. Oh, nah. Yeah, your, your videos are funny. But I got to make sure I'm ready, bruh. Make sure I'm ready, bruh. <laughs> I shouldn't make fun of Ebola. I don't know anything about it. Other than if you get it, you have this unbelievable urge to go to the airport. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. Nobody gets Ebola. It just has the decency to just walk out in the woods by themselves and just bleed out like a gentleman. Right? <laughs> They want to go get everybody else sick. They want to go get everybody else sick. If you got Ebola, go on and quarantine yourself somewhere far, far under a bridge some on where a bridge where nobody else is. Not even any more of the homeless people who live there already. Go to a bridge that's not been occupied by anybody. You take your Ebola over there and relax. Some reason you gotta go right down to the airport Oh, can I downgrade to a middle seat? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sick of Obama's wife. <laughs> yeah. This isn't some Republican rant either. It's just kind of first ladies in general. You know, I don't know what it is. All throughout my life, with each presidency, like these first ladies, they've just gotten more and more like, like, uh, like chatty. You know? More and more chiming in, like leaning into the frame, <laughs> spitting out their ideas. It's just like, well, why are you talking? Right? You weren't elected. Shut up. Your husband's not running a lemonade stand here. He's running the country. You don't just chime in. Let me guess, is this considered sexist? It is? Why? It's not considered sexist. It's, it's considered misogynistic. 
it's, it's, it's when people hear you telling a woman what not to say and what to say or how to act or when to act or when to do and when not to do, it's considered misogynistic. I mean, I, I'm with you 100 percent. Like my wife can't come to my job and tell people, you know, what to do. She can't come to my job and and, and, and say, well, he don't feel like doing it or I don't think that's right. You know how women like to grab air on you. I don't think that's right. He don't feel like doing it. He done done enough. He about to go on break. They end up, I end up getting fired because she, so I get it. I get it. But let's go forth and multiply, brother. Well, okay, you're just nodded there, lady. Let me ask you this, all right? Let's say you had a leak in your house, okay? You call the plumber up. He shows up. And he goes, yeah, I think the leak's coming from the upstairs bathroom. We need to shut it up. Blah, blah. Then all of a sudden his wife walks in. Who isn't a plumber? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, yeah, you know, I'm actually taking care of you. Hey, wouldn't you be like, with all due respect, shut the f*** up. I need a plumber in this moment. Look, bro, man, look. Look, man. I'm trying to be serious, man. You... I'm looking at the title. The title says I'm sick of Michelle Obama, so I wanna I'm trying to be serious, man. I'm trying to be protective of my people. Could you please let me do that? Stop making me laugh, brother. Please, brother. I got my whiskey, I got my wife beater on. It's baggy because I'm skinny. I ain't got no muscles. But I, I can I can still act like I'm tough. So allow me that. Allow me that one thing, brother. I know you're funny, man. But allow me that. Okay? All right. I'm gonna get back serious. Now relax. I'll extend an olive branch here. All right, at some point, there's gonna be the first female president, right? Exactly. Which means at that moment, you're gonna have the first male first lady, right? <laughs> and what? what? He sound like me because I always make fun of my kids' um, lunch ladies who are men. I always call them a lunch lady, um, lunch mateys or something like that because I, they call them lunch ladies. They don't call them lunch men. They don't call them a, a school chef. They call them a lunch lady. Same thing with the first lady. The first lady has a name. Why? Because that that the president is usually a man, right? And their counterpart, their, their other... You know me, the love of their life is the first lady. So yeah. We're gonna have the first male first lady, right? <laughs> and when that happens, that dude needs to shut his trap. I don't wanna hear a word out of him. I wanna hear from the president. You, sir, go do some first lady stuff, all right? <laughs> go get yourself some gloves that go up <clears throat> to your elbows. <laughs> smile and nod during speeches. Go put your own flair, redecorate in the White House, right? He said, put on some gloves and then come down to you. <laughs> this nigga is ridiculous, man. I'm trying to be serious, man. This is for the culture. Black people are dependent on me to defend Michelle Obama, bruh. They depending on me, man. They looking at me through a window of the world, uh, th through the black window of the world, and they like, man, he going to do it. We believe in that brother. He going to make sure that everything's on the up and up. Right? So allow me that. Stop making me laugh, bro. Go put your own flair redecorating the White House. Right? <laughs> Which leads you to Michelle Obama, right? Now she's sitting there holding up those hashtags. Remember that hashtag, bring back our girls? Remember that? It's like, I, it blew my mind. It's like, why are you showing me that? I'm a stand-up comedian. Like, what am I gonna do to get those girls back? Why don't you look across the dinner table? It's like, you see that guy? <laughs> that is the leader of the free world. Tell him to pick up a phone, call some Navy SEALs and solve it. What, what am I gonna do? Show up with a sharpened mic stand? Oh, Michelle said to bring him back. Oh, it's unreal. That was funny. That was funny, man, but I'm trying not to laugh, man. I'm seriously, I got I got protect. I got my tech. I got serve and protect Michelle Obama, bruh. So can you please stop making me laugh, bruh?
I'll tell you what kills me. Hillary Clinton might run. She might, she might run. That, that blows my mind. I mean, she became a senator. She went from being the president's wife to being a senator. Just like that. Lateral move. That's like Tom Brady's wife becoming the next quarterback of the Rams. <laughs> it's like, what, you hanging out? You just pick it up? I sucked at sports, and then I banged Tom Brady, and I don't know what happened. I just picked up a ball. I started lacing it. I'm leading receivers. It was incredible. <laughs> I knew it was going to be like this. <laughs> You know what's funny? There's actually people out there that think a woman being president is actually a good idea. You know? Can you believe that? See that they do? That'll do something. That'll change things. How? How the f is that going to change anything? Do you know what the president makes a year? The president makes 400 grand a year. That's it. He's trying to keep billionaires in line, making 400 grand a year. That's all he makes. He makes less than some people blogging on the internet. The president should have f you money, right? He should be sitting there with his pockets turned and saying, I need, I need your help to get me, get me the job. Right? What do you guys all donate to the campaign? Is that what it is? <laughs> the fans are enjoying it. Martha Stewart, not so much. But the rest of you, enjoy it. They're just jokes, Martha. Come on. You got an empire. I'm rooting for you. Okay, my brother, man, Bill, Bill Burr. He funny as hell, man. He was funny, brother. He was funny. He was real funny. I laughed about 11 times, 11 and a half. But I do understand completely. And I agree 1000%, bro. That was funny. I can go put back on my shirt and then, <laughs> whew, that was nice, man. I, I feel great. I didn't have to, you know, get all irate or aggressive or or super black on him. I had to get super black. You know what I mean? I have to, oh, oh, watch your mouth, you jive turkey motherfucker. I ain't have to do none of that. None of that. He was funny. And I appreciated it. Per usual, though, I want to hear what y'all got to say in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit the subscribe button, what the hell you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button on the way out the door. I'll see y'all on the next video, guys. I am Van. We are all the LFR family. Peace out.